making her way to the ring from Staten Island, New York, the Princess of Staten Island, Carmella. Byron, are you ready to admit the truth yet? That Carmella is the most obnoxious woman in the entire women's division? You are delusional. Mella is money. Well, it's great where you can wear blinders. Why would I want blinders on when Mella's around? So what would you know anything about how to win a title like Mella? So I see you're kissing up to Carmella as well. Why wouldn't I? I think she's an unbelievable talent. Mella is money. And her opponent, accompanied by Sonya Deville from Yorktown Heights, New York, Mandy Rose. Superstars come into this matchup with a lot to prove. And given the athleticism of these women, this one promises to be can't miss. Oh. Up and down. What a slam. Get this! Bam! What a slam! Ooh, what impact! Looking for all the glory here. She's looking to get out of here with a win early. Too soon. Boom! Running STO plants him. Nicely done. Boom! What impact! She's starting to take a oh, beating, man. but you can bet she has plenty of fight in her. You know, she's the kind of competitor that actually likes getting hit. It motivates her. And this oh, might just be what she needs to put her over the top, believe it or not. She's definitely slowing down here a bit, but that doesn't mean it's the end of the road for her. Not by a long shot. But she knew this match wasn't going to be easy. Right. If you're worried about her now, you haven't seen many of her matches. She can withstand so much. She goes for the quick pin. She's looking to get out of here with a win early. Just power out. One of the things I like best about Carmella, guys, is just how feisty she is. From the moment her music hits all the way through the final bell, she just has this undeniable spunk about her. Carmella just barely got out of the way. She's on the attack and on the move. Mandy Rose just too quick. Like Byron, I would say Carmella is among the most feisty superstars around today. Though there are times when that feistiness borders on being a bit of a crash side. You can call it feistiness, you can call it breath. Mandy Rose has the shoulders down early, and she kicks out. As a former dancer and cheerleader, you know Carmella's going to be light on her feet out there. Carmella with a nice reversal. Oh man, she's rolling now. Oof. Mandy Rose is... This might be it! Oh my! She's got... She goes for the cover. And Carmella pops the shoulder up. Gonna take more than that. One thing nobody can ever take away from Carmella is that she will forever be known as the first ever female to win a Money in the Bank ladder match. She's definitely etched her name in the history books, but Michael, let's not forget that her victory didn't come without its fair share. 
Double underhook applied. Up, oh, nailed it. Is it enough, though? It's going to be. Looks like she wants to win early. Leave it to Saxton to call Carmella's Money in the Bank victory controversial. Of course, you also failed to mention Carmella backed that win up with a second Money in the Bank ladder match victory just days later. I definitely give Carmella credit for that one, Corey, but I can't justify the first victory. Not when it was James Ellsworth who actually climbed the ladder and grabbed the briefcase. She's calling her out. Carmella. Oh, oh. Here's her shoulders down. Is it enough? For as good as Carmella is, Corey, the unfortunate truth is she's not unbelievable. This singles match is over. Now let's take a look back at these ladies in action. Highlight for one superstar, low light for another. She's taking care of business. Oh, I can't believe this. And here's the last piece of the puzzle. display tonight from Carmella. To get the pinfall victory over such a high quality opponent is incredibly impressive, Michael. The crowd here tonight certainly seemed to appreciate the efforts. What a great match.